Good evening and welcome to the Maternal Health Channel. I'm Ivy Prosper. Tonight, we start a conversation on abortion. One of those emotive issues that evokes as many views as there are people discussing it. Yet in spite of the social stigma attached to even its discussion, it is one issue we cannot afford to ignore, usually in back streets or in the hands of quarks and unskilled medical personnel. The victims are schoolgirls, shop assistants, traders, housewives, professionals of all descriptions, teachers, food sellers, in short, people we all know, usually young and at the prime of their lives. At funerals we say, gone too soon. The cumulative impact on development is considerable. A discussion on abortions can only be meaningful if we delve into the factors, dynamics, and some of the reasons why, instead of reducing, illegal abortions are on the increase. Girls, young girls, old girls, women, both married and unmarried, seeking and resorting to unsafe abortion, using all sort of concoctions and misusing medication. There's something called a choco bomba. People mix all sorts of concoctions and insect in the vagina of a woman. And if it explodes and something comes out, they call it abortion. There are boyfriends who are pressing on the tummies of their girlfriends. To see them bleed, there are people who are inserting hot rods, coat hangers, just to get the product of conception out. If fatalities from unsafe abortions are so high, why is there not a public discussion about it? Ghana being a very religious country, we don't want to talk about abortion issues. In Kumasi, however, we met a group of young women prepared to break the taboo of silence and talk openly about the myths surrounding how to terminate unwanted pregnancies. That was five years ago in Kumasi, but the real surprise is that the methods had essentially not changed. If anything, new techniques had been secretly invented, highlighting the dangers of unsafe abortion and abuse of medications on the market. Some of these medications are available to young girls and women and easily purchased from pharmacies and chemical licensed shops across the country. These include prescribed drugs, deadly cocktails, and a bewildering range of concoctions are now available to anyone who wants to terminate their pregnancy themselves without recourse to a registered health facility or skilled personnel. The broken bottles cocktail, gin with salt and other ingredients. Fire on the mountain when the lethal concoction is lit. Cytotec registered as medication to prevent gastric ulcers and not supposed to be sold without prescription. Tablets all kinds of tablets, sometimes with gin or favorite drinks. What can be fueling this? Are we complacent about the related fatalities that bring so much pain and sorrow to so many families? Behind these methods of unsafe abortion, performed mostly in secret and in barely conducive environments, are real women with real stories that can be told by many others. Doris, a young lady, has over the course of two years performed seven abortions using a range of methods. We need real and practical answers to difficult moral issues and dilemmas 
and a good dose of openness. What is our attitude to family planning and contraception?